Hey, this is Pastor Scott Cruz with The Deeper Rock. Thanks so much for checking us out today. You can come for a rock talk every Sunday at West Acre Cinema at 10 a.m. And I hope to see you there. Some neat things have been happening. Today we're going to take a look at something. I wanted to play a little word association game with you today. And so I'm going to say a word and then you say it. Okay, so I'm going to say the word Mona. Did you say Lisa? Okay, so that's kind of the idea. Whatever comes to your head. Okay, Mona. I already said that one, Lisa. How about Super Bowl? What comes down to you say Super Bowl? For me, it's a big bowl of cereal. That's Super Bowl for me. Uh, how about vacation? What comes to your mind when I say the word vacation? Some of you it's camping, some of you it's the Bahamas. How about diet? When I think of diet, I think of an emancipated person who is so hungry that he doesn't know what to do because that's what I feel like. How about this one? How about Kiefer? Any of you say uh, Kiefer or Sutherland? Because 24 is the greatest show that they have ever made and they'll never make one like it. How about this one? President. I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> we have a president, presidential debate tonight, so that's kind of kind of fun. How about this one? What word association, what do you think of when I say the word born again Christian? What comes to your mind? Now, I hope that what comes to your mind, I wish that what would come to your mind would be, boy, born-again Christian, a person with integrity, a person who loves people, a person who is gentle and kind, a person who, is, who I can count on. But, you know, if we were to say that word and do that word association with people who are far from God, that were pre-faith, that didn't know God, and we said, born-again Christian, a lot of those people would not have positive things that they would come back with. And what I want to say to you today is that when, you're, when you are going about your day, when people are offended by your faith, when people are challenged, when people treat Christians, whether it be in the news media or whatever, with uh, disdain or distrust, um, I want to encourage you that there's some reasons why they do that. You know, it's been said that uh, there's a story, I don't know if it's true or not, but about Moha, um, Gandhi. And Gandhi said, told this, this Christian person, he said, you know, I wish I could be a Christian. And I believe, would believe everything a Christian had to offer, except that I've met too many Christians. And of course, you know, they're under British rule in, in India, and the, the Euro, uh, Europeans were a Christian faith, but they didn't live out Christian values. When, we, when someone meets us and they find out I'm a born-again Christian, I come, that comes with a lot of baggage sometimes. So we have to be willing to love our way through that. And let's hope that someday that when we say Christian, that it means like Jesus. Because Jesus was, was perfectly integrity, perfect love, all the way through. So I want to encourage you today to be patient with the people around you that maybe label you because you're a Christian. And prove them wrong and prove them what it really is to be like Jesus. And that's to love people exactly where they're at for who they are, not in a judgmental way, but in an inspiring way to see them come, come to faith. Hey, may the Lord richly bless you, and I hope to see you in church on Sunday.